That Monday Meltdown 58, this is winners round 2. We have Severe Calamari, Sheik versus this is very own Phil, the dead of they made. We're on Battlefield here, this is it's historically a good stage for Sheik. But as for the matchup at hand, I'm not quite... Well, there's been an SD. But I, <laughs> as for the matchup at hand, I'm not quite sure what to say. Obviously, Dead of Day is just massive, so he's probably prone to a lot of hits, but I, from personal experience, understand the weight of Dead of Day. He's an extremely hard character to kill, especially for a character like Sheik. Dead of Day would be able to kill Sheik really quickly, due to lightweight, but it's going to be hard for him to get combos started. In addition, Sabir Kalamari is a very highly revered player. He has placing highly consistently. He also has a Lucario, a just very, very, very strong Lucario under his belt. So I'm actually surprised he's going cheek right now. So here we are. With a full stock lead. Big kind of Murray doesn't want to give Phil any streaming room. There's a second up air. Oh he's gonna have to grab that ledge. Ooh, he manages to get a quick down tilt on Paul landing. Ooh, he waits for Edo and tries to reach for a bear, but doesn't quite hit. Ooh, Ooh wow, Phil did a very good uh, evasion of that down bouncing fish. Fortunately, he doesn't manage to get the uh, up B hit upon Calamari. Ooh, uses that super armor, but eats a bouncing fish. He's on 151%. So he's got some serious rage under him right now. Sheik does have trouble killing. And with a weighted character like Dead Day, he's gonna have to do some serious confirm to get this final kill. Or maybe a hard read. There's that up air, that's definitely gonna kill with this sort of rage on Sheik on 100%. But with 164%, never say, oh my god, he was literally jabbing into the charged up smash. He's got an up tilt. With this raid, we can really cool, he can really get an early stop here. She's really gonna stop. Oh, but that bouncing fish does it. Now we're a full stop lead again. This is probably the worst time for Dead Day. When he's on a low percent and she is in the mood to combo. There. Spick has been really using spacing to get round uh, Phil's attacks right now. Empty hops up the line. There he goes with another empty hop. He tried to go for a pivot grab but doesn't manage to run past the day's shield. The neutral is a really hard uh, game to play for the day against Sheik because of the concept of needles always being a uh, threat to just trump any approach that Phil would like to go for. Even Gordo's as well will easily be reflected by Needles, I'm sure. Again, with the tax on Phil, we'll just get Bouncing Fish. It's really good. Really hard matchup here. Ooh, this is the guy seriously trying to get into Phil's head right now. There's the up air. Not killing yet. 
tries to go for a sliding up smash but doesn't bear any fruit. But this time jumps straight into the from the ledge into the up smash. So Vic Kalamari gonna take game one. Winners round two, we're going straight into game two here. We're keeping the matchup the same. It seems that Phil has decided to counter pick to Town and City. So, Town and City is a stage notorious for its low ceiling. I reckon the side blast zones are pretty much average. So, for Phil, this is going to be an all right counter pick because the platforms on Town and City are going to be much more better for him to get away from Sheik when he needs to. Sheik's combos don't work as well on Talon City than they do on Battlefield. So then we'll see if this counter pick really does help fill out here. Right now though, it's pretty much even. Fair. Fair. Woo goes for a wild bouncing fish off stage but doesn't manage to clip Phil. Oh, he literally just runs up to Phil and turns back. Phil really covering the defensive ledge with those fairs. Oh, because Ray Kalamari tried to up air into the. the Gordo. Oh, there's another dangerous Gordo around. This time Phil is being. Much more, much more careful about how he's approaching Calamari. Not gonna do have a repeat of game one, where that SD really put him behind. Wow, an amazing ledge drop bear from Field to take the first stock, 151%. And there's the grab. There to down tilt, forward tilt. Oh, tries to get weaker. Please go, go in the down tilt, 28%. He's really trying to build up this lead. With this rage, if he raises Sheik's any percent any higher, he could get a seriously early kill. But for some weird reason, he flips past the ledge. That's gonna get rid of all that momentum that he built up. It's very kind of boring now. I'm gonna be probably pay a bit more patiently in order to. Oh no. For some weird reason, again, Phil has flipped past the ledge, dying. And if you thought the momentum was lost the first time round, this is even worse. Because this is the kind of things that put a player on tilt. And it, the match just looks super bleak. But hopefully, Phil can get out of that zone and just claw his way back. Not sure right now, though, it's not looking good. Bear, the bouncing fish. He ran for that bouncing fish, he really did. So trying to use the up beat to do some damage, but he gets punished up air. Not killing yet, even on Town City. The other day is very high high weighted. So deciding to stay in shield is a good decision. Doesn't fall for Civic Calabar's empty hops. And that Bouncy good though doesn't quite kill off Sheik, but that fair will definitely good ed good ledge guard from Phil there. But with 136%, can he really use any sort of momentum to pull his way back? But that bouncy fish is gonna take it. That's really unfortunate. Phil was playing really well in that second game until the two ledge grab misses and the two stops that he seriously needed. That's gonna be 2-0 to severe calamari. Oh,